what is this deep well of depression metaphor that I keep talking about, that I base my book on, that I talk about in my videos all the time? Well, in this video, I'm going to attempt to draw the deep well of depression concept. But first, hello, Jamie Dukes here, and welcome to Deep Well Motivation, where we share knowledge, perspectives, and actions to help motivate you to be the best you can be in your mental health. If you'd like to join us on our wellness journey, we upload one to two videos per week. So go ahead and hit that like button, subscribe, and click the notification button so you don't miss a single upload. On this channel, there is hope always. So if I start, I'm gonna draw the ground up here and somewhere along the lines, there's gonna be a hole. And that hole is going to fall into a deep, deep well. Since we're talking ground, let's make it a little prettier and we'll have a bit of grass up along here. So deep down at the bottom of this well, we have water. Next, we're going to build the concrete structure around the top of the well. And next to the opening of the well, we're going to attempt to draw the cover. Now, another really important component of this deep well depression metaphor that I use is the sun. So we're going to draw the sun in this picture. So it's a nice sunny day. And there we have the structure of the well itself. So now what we're going to do is introduce the very important components that make up this figurative deep well of depression. So firstly, what we're going to do is we're going to introduce the ladder. And this signifies a way out. So I'm going to draw this ladder coming down, but it's not going to go all the way down. It's just going to go so far. Now on this ladder, there are seven rungs. Seven steps, if you will. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now, another important feature in this deep well depression metaphor is what's at the bottom of the well. So yes, there is water at the bottom of the well, but in this context, I introduce a few dangers associated with the bottom of the well. And these dangers are in the form of piranha. And I call these the piranha of depression. Now the next feature of this deep well of depression, also at the bottom of this well, are weeds. Okay, so now we have the star of this deep well perspective. So this is the person that is treading water in the deep well of depression. The person treading water in the deep well of depression is holding on to these weeds while he's treading water to stay afloat. Another very, very important feature of this deep well of depression are the supporters. There's going to be a couple of people standing on top of the well there to try and help the person who's treading the deep, dark water of despair. So it begs the question, how are they able to help? What are they doing to help the person who is struggling in their illness, to help the person who's treading the dark water of despair? What are they doing? Well, what they're doing is that they're holding on to a rope so let's, we're going to draw a little rope. And this rope reaches all the way down to the bottom of the well, well within reach of the person who is treading the dark water of despair. So this picture to me is novice as it is, but this picture to me encompasses my experience having lived with depression, having struggled with depression. So when I talk about 
this, this idea of being able to see depressed, being able to touch it. Well, to me, if I was to envision depression, this mental illness as a physical place, to me, this is what it looks like. And each one of those components that I've drawn, each has a, a significance in understanding what it is that we're going through and how depression is affecting us. Each one has a purpose. So let's summarize all of the components that make up this figurative deep well of depression. The very first thing I wanna draw your attention to is the person. The person treading the water at the bottom of this well. So the concept here is that when we fall into depression, I liken that to falling into this deep dark well. And, like, and as I've described in previous videos, in the well, you're incapacitated. There's nowhere to go other than up. But all you can really do until you get help is to tread water. So the second feature that makes up this deep well of depression metaphor are the weeds. So if you look at the weeds at the bottom of this well, I refer to those in this disorder as the weeds of damaging beliefs. And the idea here is that when you're trading water in your illness, so to speak, when you're, when you're struggling with depressive symptoms, you tend to hold on to some very not so positive beliefs about yourself, about your surroundings. And this symbolizes that. While you're trading water, you're holding on to these weeds. You're holding on to these beliefs. And by holding on to them, they tend to anchor you down. And as long as you're holding on to those beliefs, you can't go up. The third component of this deep well of depression are the fish, i.e. the piranhas. And I refer to those as the piranhas of depression. There are six piranhas that are swimming around the person at the bottom of this well. And each one of those piranhas represents a life area that could be, that could be attacking the person while they're struggling to stay afloat. For example, this piranha might represent family. Maybe you're struggling, maybe you're going through a divorce situation and it's taken its toll on your mental health. Perhaps this piranha is finances. Maybe it's your financial situation that is eating away at you, much like a piranha would eat their prey. Perhaps this one is your career. Perhaps this prana here is your career and you hate doing what you're doing. You're at a, perhaps a dead end job or you're just, you just have no passion, no life in your career. Maybe that's what's bothering you. Or maybe you're spending too much time in your career. This prana, maybe it's, maybe it has to do with your biology. Maybe, maybe you, you know, maybe there's depression and mental illness in your family and it's coming to fruition through there where you have no rhyme or reason as to why you're experiencing the symptoms that you're experiencing. Maybe it's biological and so on. So these six piranhas of depression are the life areas that may be eating away at our mental health. The next feature of this deep well of depression is the sun. Quite simply, well, it's the sun. You know, we all feel good when we're out in the sun. And the idea here is that when you're treading the deep dark water of despair, you don't see the sun. The sun is up there. There's a tiny beam of light that comes down to the bottom of the well. It's just the tiniest beam of light. And the idea here is that from time to time, this person will lift his face or her face out of the, out of the water and will, it, will find that window of opportunity where they see that tiny little beam. And that symbolizes that window of hope in an otherwise hopeless situation. The next feature to focus your attention on is the rope. And I refer to this as the rope of support. And as I've mentioned, the rope extends from the top of the well all the way down to the bottom, well within reach of the person who is treading the deep dark water of despair. Now, I do want to draw your attention to the two individuals that are holding on to the rope. So these two individuals, these represent our support mechanisms. So those supporters may represent people in your life that are there for you, like your spouse, your family, a friend, your doctor, your psychiatrist, the medical system, whatever it is. These are the supporters that are there to help you. And they're helping you by holding on 
to this rope of support that extends down into the deep dark well. And the idea is that they're holding on to the rope because they want you to grab onto it so that they can pull you up. But it's not quite that easy in this disorder. And again, in later videos, we're going to delve deeper into these concepts and really understand the challenges that comes with trying to help somebody, trying to pull them out of their mental illness. The next feature to draw your attention to is the cover that is leaning against the opening of the well. So this cover is there just to represent hope, is there to remind you that there's always a way out. If that cover, if, if this heavy concrete cover was over the top of the well, you would feel hopeless. There's no way out. There's no way you're going to lift that unless your supporters are there and they pick it up and move it. But the idea with respect to this deep well depression metaphor is that the, what the cover is leaning against the opening of the well. It means there's always a way out. We just need to find it. You need the strength to look up to see how you can get out of this deep well of depression that you're in. And the final feature I want to draw your attention to is the ladder. This is ultimately the most important component of this deep well of depression. See, the ladder is fixed inside this well and extends almost all the way down, but it is well out of reach, or at least it should be. So the idea is that the person can't physically reach up and grab that ladder and just start climbing. There's a big gap here and they're trading water so they can't jump up, they have no leverage, they can't climb up to get that ladder. When this person is ready, when they're, when they're able to find that window of opportunity, that window of hope, they can reach for that rope and our supporters can at least pull them up to the very first rung of, on this ladder. And this ladder I refer to as the ladder of liberation. This represents our healing. And in my experience, I've identified seven steps to healing, hence the name of my book, A Deep Well Perspective for Healing in Depression, introducing seven action steps to help you overcome oppressive symptoms seven action steps okay now notice one two three four five six seven and these are the actions that you can take to help you heal to help you climb step by step up and eventually out of this deep well of depression so there it is the deep well concept this is what i've been talking about this is what i've been writing about all this time it's all based on this very simplistic model, this very simplistic diagram. And for me, each one of these components, this whole structure perfectly represents my experience with mental illness. It may not look exactly the same for you, I don't know, but I'm sure we can draw some parallels. I'm sure there are some things that you can relate to in this that perhaps you can use, you can leverage in your healing process. In future videos, I'm going to get into each and every one of these components in greater detail. We're going to look at their limitations. We're going to look at their opportunities. And we're going to see how we can use these concepts to better understand what it is that we're struggling with. So that we can learn, we can gain knowledge, we can gain perspectives, and eventually we can take actions. So that one day, you'll be able to take each and every one of those steps up and out of your deep well of depression.